Hi, hello, it's me. And I am doing a 21 day challenge. So every day for the next 21 days, you're going to be seeing my face. <laughs> it's going to be either about me or recipes or makeup that I'm trying, just some of my favorites. It's just gonna be a fun time. My cat is in here too. <laughs> but since it is the first day, I thought I would do 10 things about me. Um, it's August 1st and here we go. So number one, I feel like I'm a jack of all trades. I am a stay at home mom. I'm an event coordinator. I am a makeup artist and I just like to do a bunch of things. I like to just try to be the best at a lot of things or just try a lot of things. Sometimes, especially when people are like, you can't do that. I'm just like, <laughs> watch me. <laughs> and I try to make it happen. Number two, I love makeup. Duh. <laughs> when I was little, I would always try to recreate looks and try to kind of make them my own. And just, I just really loved it. I always wanted to have a lot of makeup, but my mom was always like, you're too young. You don't want to do that. You don't want to ruin your face. Um, but for Christmas, she would always get me like the big bundles that you would get at like Ulta and the big Christmas bundles. And I would be so happy because I'd be like, yes, I finally get to dig in. But I never knew that being a makeup artist as a profession was a real thing. So I never went to beauty school or anything like that. Did go to college, I went for communications and I think that's what helps me talk with people. I'm very awkward though at points, like people have told me that you just stand there and stuff like that. And it's just like, I don't wanna make the wrong move. It's really weird, but anyway. I, when I got into becoming an artist, I really grew my skills and I really started to pay attention to technique and stuff like that. And so now I just love it. It's, it's still one of my favorite things in the whole wide world and it's something that calms me down and keeps me busy and all that type of stuff. I have two kids. My daughter is five and my son is two and I have baby fever. <laughs> Everybody is pregnant right now or having babies and it's just like, oh, I want another one, but I don't think I could handle it at all. Kids are crap. Kids are crazy. <laughs> Number four, I have patience. <laughs> and I've always been told that I am like a turtle. I can go really slow, but even though like I like to my life to be really fast paced, I can wait a really, really long time. Um, I t only get impatient when it comes to like plans. Like if I know exactly what's going on and the other person knows exactly what should be going on, but they aren't paying attention, like that's when I get really impatient. Children. <laughs> but if it's like sitting in an office and you have to wait for your appointment, I could sit there forever and be like, okay, yeah, I'm probably like, oh, this is taking a really long time, but I'm definitely not the type of person that's gonna be like, when is this gonna happen? Blah, 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 blah. Like waiting for food, I never get impatient. Waiting for anything, I don't ever get impatient. <laughs> Just with my kids. Number five, I am a YouTube snob. <laughs> I watch a lot of YouTube. Probably the only thing I watch is YouTube. My top favorites are, I don't know, I could list a lot. Probably David Dobrik, Tana Mojo, Nicole Guerrero, um, Samantha Ravindahl, Desi Perkins, like everybody, like everybody you see right now, I watch it all. I'm always on the recommend, my recommendations, looking for new ones. I just started watching Try Guys. I know that they've been around forever, but I just started watching their videos. There's, everything is on YouTube and it, you can never get bored on there. When people tell me like, oh, I don't watch a lot of YouTube, I'm like, why? There's so many good personalities on there that you just need to watch it. <laughs> you just need to watch it. And I also have a YouTube channel, Selfish Plug. Um, it just search Christina Robb and well, this is already on YouTube. So duh, you're already here. Go ahead and subscribe if you're already here. But um, if you haven't, just go ahead and view all of our content. We're daily vlogging. Number six. I love shopping. I like to go more by myself. When I was a teenager, 
kind of in my early 20s too, my mom would just hand me my Christmas money and be like, go buy yourself your presents. I'll wrap them and you can unwrap them for Christmas. And it was seriously the best thing ever. I got to go and spend the entire day shopping for myself. I knew exactly what I would want and I would be like really precise with it because I was on a budget right you don't want to spend your own money for christmas so i would be like really focused on what i wanted and it was just the best i tell everybody that it's the best idea ever <laughs> but in order to like calm down i like to just go and look around i don't necessarily have to have anything or buy anything but it's just i don't know something about walking around and looking at everything is really calming for me <laughs> seven I moved a lot as a kid um, I live in Indiana now and this is the longest I've ever lived anywhere my dad is a pilot so we moved a lot <laughs> as a kid I was born in Virginia my brother was born in Ohio and we moved back and forth Pennsylvania is where all my family is and I really consider that home even though I've lived here 20 years now and it just I have family here and yeah, it's home, but I love Pennsylvania and that'll always be my home. But yeah, I think that's why I get the moving bug so much because, and we haven't moved a lot. <laughs> my family, as in like my husband and kids, we haven't moved around a lot at all. We've moved like apartment to apartment to a house, but we've never moved states or anything like that. And sometimes I get the itch to where I'm like, let's just move, <laughs> let's just get out of here and move. Number eight, I hate to cook. <laughs> I have a lot of people ask me like recipes and all of this type of stuff and I just don't cook. The most I use is my Instant Pot. That's what it is. I use my Instant Pot and that's pretty much it. Other than that, I don't cook. I would rather use DoorDash and have it delivered to me and still eat healthy and yeah. I just hate cleaning it up. I hate cutting everything up. I just. It's not for me. Maybe when I'm 30. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'll get there. Number nine. I don't watch movies. If they, if it is a movie, it's a kid movie. And like a Disney movie or some animation film. It's for some, I'm like a kid, I guess. It just keeps my attention longer. Every time I turn a movie on or Marcus turns a movie on, I go to sleep. <laughs> I don't know, and I thought I was weird for doing that, but Colleen Ballinger mentioned that she doesn't watch movies either. Um, but the one thing that I can I can one up her on is I at least know who actors are, <laughs> and like I know the movies that are out, and I can tell you who's in them. But we don't ever go to the theater. We don't ever watch movies here. I don't know. It just doesn't catch my attention. They're too long. I don't know. I can't do it. I would rather watch YouTube. <laughs> Number 10. I never knew what I wanted to be when I grew up at all. When career day came around, I think I just picked a random thing and was like, all right, let's go with that. Let's dress like that. And that's that. My dad was a pilot and I always wanted, like I thought I wanted to be a pilot, but I think that's just because my dad was one. I went to three colleges. <laughs> one, I failed out of my first college that I ever went to. It was like a big 10 and I just couldn't handle it. But I went to that school for uh, tour management. It was like a new program and it was, not what I wanted to do. I thought I wanted to be like a band manager and go on tour and do all of that type of stuff, but it just, now that I have kids and I thought about it, like it's just not something that I wanna go into. Managing lives and taking care of people is, I mean, I take care of my kids, but I could never take care of like grown adults every single day. It's just not for me, <laughs> not for me. I also wanted to be a Disney performer, like when you go to Disney World and you see those live shows, like I wanted to be one of those people that was in a costume dancing around singing. Tina can't sing. <laughs> so that was thrown out the window, but I was a dancer for over 10 years and I wanted to continue that love and passion and it just never happened because I thought I wanted to be a band manager, but obviously dreams change. Then for the past 10 years, I wanted to make videos. I've always loved making videos and doing all of that so i finally just did it and now this is the road that i'm on just gonna keep on going on <laughs> those are 10 things about me tell me in the comments below five or 10 things about yourself and let's become friends yay
this is my day one of my 21 day challenge. I'll see you in the next one. We're doing it August 1st through the 21st. I'm also always daily vlogging, so go ahead and check that out as well. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit your bell notifications because we are committing to this, y'all. We're doing it. So I'll see you next time.